probably underestimated um, Pitbull and thought that just because he was bigger that he would probably dominate him. And I'm going to be honest, that's what I thought. Man, we ain't thinking about none of that stuff, man. <laughs> he just, he come off of a, a tough loss tonight. You know, again, this is boxing. You know, we're, I'm, I'm not even thinking about none of that. I, I, I'm cons always concerned about the health and welfare of my fighters. He's okay. And that's that. Raleigh Romero, following his controversial defeat to Isaac Cruz and subsequent retirement announcement, has vociferously demanded a rematch with Cruz. The demand comes in the wake of Romero's allegations of cheating against Cruz, which have sparked a heated debate within the boxing community. In a passionate statement, Romero expressed his frustration and anger over the outcome of the fight, insisting that he was the victim of foul play and unfair tactics employed by Cruz. Romero believes that a rematch is the only way to set the record straight and prove that he is the better fighter. Romero's demand for a rematch has added fuel to the ongoing controversy surrounding the Cruz-Romero bout, with fans, pundits, and fellow fighters all weighing in on the situation. While some have expressed support for Romero's call for a rematch and believe that he deserves another shot at victory, others have questioned the validity of his cheating claims and the timing of his retirement announcement. In response to Romero's demands, Isaac Cruz has yet to publicly address the call for a rematch. However, Cruz's camp has previously dismissed Romero's allegations as baseless and a desperate attempt to deflect from his defeat. However, Isaac Cruz delivered a commanding display in the ring, securing a decisive victory over Romero with an eighth-round technical knockout. Heading into the bout, Cruz was widely favored, but his performance surpassed expectations stunning the boxing community not only with the win, but also with the manner in which he dismantled Raleigh Romero. Raleigh Romero exuded undeniable confidence leading up to his bout with Isaac Cruz. With just one loss tarnishing his boxing record, Romero's assurance was palpable. Cruz, a late addition to the fight card, was originally not in Romero's sights. He had his sights set on facing Ryan Garcia. He just has no neck. Romero quipped in an interview, attempting to belittle Cruz with some pre-match trash talk, even poking fun at Cruz's physique by referring to him as fat. Isaac Cruz relied heavily on his solid foundation to gain an edge against Romero. With his compact build, close-knit fists, and stature, he posed a challenging target for his opponent. Moreover, when he went on the offensive, his punching power proved to be potentially devastating, a fact he demonstrated conclusively against Romero. Romero stood in disbelief as Cruz unleashed a relentless onslaught. The ferocity of Cruz's attacks was unmatched, leaving Romero helpless and unable to retaliate. Blow after blow rained down on Romero's face, chin, and stomach from the opening bell to the final round. It became evident that Cruz was poised to claim the title of the New World Boxing Association super lightweight champion. It was only a matter of time. Staying faithful to Isaac Cruz's sentiments, Romero found it challenging to even land a single blow, as Cruz's defensive skills were impeccable throughout the match. Undeniably, Cruz earned his victory, leaving Romero to grudgingly accept his opponent's superiority. Despite his disappointment, Romero graciously congratulated Cruz's team and expressed gratitude for the unwavering support from his fans and his own team. He vowed to bounce back from this setback, drawing confidence from his impressive track record. It's no wonder that Floyd Mayweather has closely aligned himself with Romero, recognizing the immense potential Mayweather sees in him. Leonard Ellerbe, Raleigh Romero's promoter, expressed his thoughts on the defeat, acknowledging that in boxing, such outcomes are inevitable sometimes. Raleigh didn't overestimate his opponent. It's just the nature of the sport. Despite the loss, Raleigh showcased phenomenal shape and had his moments in the ring. He stuck to his boxing prowess, although things didn't go entirely his way. Elurbe emphasized his pride in Raleigh's dedication and effort, recognizing that setbacks are part of the journey in boxing. The response was emphatic. He's a remarkable fighter, truly exceptional. Prior to Mayweather's hint at a potential rematch, 
He expressed his admiration for Raleigh Romero's performance against Cruz and his promising trajectory in an Instagram post. Their association traces back nearly a decade, originating from Romero's early days in sparring sessions at Mayweather's gym. Quickly distinguishing himself as a formidable presence among fellow amateurs during those sessions, Romero caught Mayweather's attention, leading to a contract before embarking on his professional boxing journey in 2016. Since then, the Las Vegas-based pugilist has amassed an impressive record of just two losses in 17 professional bouts. Keith Thurman offered his commendation for both pugilists, expressing confidence in Romero's ability to recover from the recent setback. It was a compelling bout between two skilled fighters. I witnessed a truly engaging match where both contenders gave it their all, Thurman remarked during an interview. He added, I'm acquainted with Raleigh, and I recognize his prowess in the ring. He's resilient, and I'm certain he'll make a strong comeback. Boxing enthusiasts echo this sentiment, viewing Romero's loss to Isaac Cruz as merely a temporary stumble. Romero's reputation as a top-tier lightweight contender is well established, making the lopsided outcome against Cruz all the more surprising. However, it's widely believed that the 29-year-old will soon reclaim his status among the elite in the division. Jeff Mayweather, the former American professional boxer and trainer, expressed his disappointment regarding the Romero vs. Cruz match. According to Mayweather, Romero, the recently dethroned super lightweight champion, appeared to lack a clear game plan against Cruz. Mayweather observed that Romero initially attempted to display bravery in the first round, but after being caught by Cruz, he resorted to dancing around the ring without purpose. Mayweather described Romero's movement as merely evasive rather than strategic, lacking any intent to counteract Cruz's offense. Jeff Mayweather critiqued Romero's strategy as excessively cautious. Throughout the fight, the 29-year-old seemed more focused on defense, avoiding risks and hits, rather than seizing opportunities to attack. While he did take a few chances, they were scarce, indicating a reluctance to take real risks. Mayweather suggests that without taking more chances, Romero's chances of winning are slim. Jeff Mayweather echoed the sentiments shared by many, suggesting that Romero might have underestimated Isaac Cruz due to his cocky and arrogant demeanor before the match. This stark contrast between his attitude before and during the match indicated that the fighter Romero faced in the ring surpassed the one he had prepared for. Mayweather also raised doubts about Romero's commitment, stating that the fighter seemed lacking in dedication. Jeff Mayweather, however, expressed optimism about Raleigh Romero's potential to regroup and regain his form for his upcoming bout, which, as per widespread speculation, might happen sooner rather than later. Following his devastating loss to Cruz, Romero has appeared visibly shaken and downtrodden in recent public appearances and interviews, suggesting that Cruz's victory has significantly impacted him. The recent bout with Isaac Cruz has sparked conversations about Romero's demeanor, suggesting that perhaps the encounter humbled him. Consequently, there's speculation that Romero might adopt a more humble stance towards his opponents, moving away from his previous arrogance. Kenny Porter, however, seemed unimpressed by Raleigh Romero's abilities. He suggested that the 29-year-old should consider regrouping in lower divisions and facing mid-level opponents before attempting a comeback on the big stage. Porter emphasized the importance of rebuilding one's status through strategic fights, highlighting the need for Romero to take a step back and work his way up again. Kenny Porter, the father and trainer of professional boxer Sean Porter, suggests that Raleigh should recalibrate his path by engaging with mid-level fighters to regain his status. He also casts doubt on Raleigh Romero's elite status post his loss to Isaac Cruz, indicating that he isn't currently on par with fighters like Gervonta Davis, who is rumored to be considering a bout with Romero. Raleigh Romero's tenure in the lightweight division and the world of professional boxing is indisputable. Having made his professional debut in December 2016, nearly a decade ago, he has faced off against a cadre of formidable opponents. 
Among them are notable names like Andre Figueroa, Jackson Martinez, and Austin Dway. In recent times, Romero found himself in the spotlight with a queue of contenders eager to test their mettle against him. Initially, both Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia were slated to face him, but eventually, Garcia was replaced by Isaac Cruz. The decision sparked intrigue about a potential future rematch between Garcia and Romero, a tantalizing prospect for fans. The clash between Romero and Cruz, which unfolded on March 30th, garnered significant attention. It delivered on the promise of excitement that fans had anticipated. Many fans rallied behind Isaac Cruz despite his lower popularity compared to Raleigh Romero. Among those impressed was renowned trainer Teddy Atlas, who described Cruz's performance as reminiscent of a lion. Cruz has shown us today that he has the heart of a lion, he said. Noting Cruz's relentless aggression caught Romero off guard. Atlas expressed interest in a potential rematch, believing Romero has the capacity to bounce back stronger. Atlas observed with a mixture of anticipation and uncertainty. Would Romero uphold his promise and agree to a rematch? And if so, could he hold his own against Cruz in their second clash? Could he secure the victory needed to reclaim his world championship title? Cruz's dominant display at the T-Mobile Arena on March 30th certainly showcased why he was dubbed the Pitbull. It remains intriguing to see what tactics Romero will employ when facing the new champion in his quest to regain the super lightweight title. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.